Now to major sanctions targeting three Northern California high schools, barring high school football players from the postseason for two years for violating COVID-19 restrictions. KCRE 3's Michelle Dapper joins us now with more on what these sanctions mean for the schools, Michelle. Yeah, of course, the CIF Sac Joaquin session coming down on three high school football programs for taking part in football activities during February and March while competitions were not permitted. The Capital Christian Athletic Program will be on probation this coming school year with the football team in eligible for the postseason through the 2023 season with probation through 24. Same consequences for the Ripperton Christian Athletic Program with probation for the athletics program and the football team. Meanwhile, Vacaville Christian will see their football program on probation through 2024. We had some schools that were using school you know, uniforms and equipment, school facilities, and their coaches, people that coached their own high school teams, were the people who oversaw these teams. So, uh, you know, that's, you know, that's really kind of what we looked at. It's unfortunate that the kids get tied up into something that might be adult actions, but, you know, it's, it, that's, that's, our, though, that's our processes, our protocols, and our practice of how we do things. Yeah, it's heavy, but I think it's appropriate, uh, and I think it's, it's, it's right. Okay, so of course, Rip and Christian plans to review the sanctions as an administration and school board to determine the best path forward. We still have not heard back from Capital Christian or Vacaville Christian. The high school football season is set to kick off on August 20th.